Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to do something different. Instead of a vlog, we're actually going to do an instruction video. So we're actually going to be taking off this grill here. We're going to be putting on a grill from AM Off-Road. In the box we have the wires, brackets, bolts, and any other hardware that you'll need to install. So in this package we have the brackets right here. We have two of them that are adjustable on each side. We have the F and the R that come with the grill. And then we have the grill itself. This is a out of ABS material. It is matte black. And ABS material is light and durable and it doesn't rust. And also has a light bar as you can tell right here. They shine blue and they also shine white. But to take this off, it's pretty simple. We gotta do pop the hood. We got to take off these screws here. We have brackets, new brackets are coming in. We have to take off these ones up here and that bracket as well. And then we'll be doing some wiring. So we have to get the wire to come down from here all the way back and right into here. Right back here, we have all these wires that we'll attach the right wires to when we have a chance. Alright, well, let me go grab the tools and we'll start taking this apart. Finally got all the bolts off here. here. Let's see. Finally got all the bolts off in there. All the ones in there. All right. And now we're actually gonna go clean this off because we need it to be cleaned up here. We're gonna clean that off. That's the old grill. We're gonna go grab the new one and we'll be right back to put it in. So we actually grabbed the brackets for them. We got that bracket down there, this bracket up here. We're actually gonna put them right where our old ones would have gone. You can tell we're gonna go, let's see, right there where the old ones went. We're gonna slightly tighten them down. We're not gonna tighten them all the way because we need to put the grill on and we have to attach these. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side.
here we're grabbing the grill we're gonna put it on to the holes we're gonna match up the bolts that are on the grill to the holes that are on the truck and they actually just fit right in so you don't have to hold it for that long i do suggest not letting it go since you have the provided nut on the other side you should be able to let it go if a little bit safer that way so as you can see here, we're just going to be making sure each one gets some hole. You do have to push a little bit, you have to use some force, but they should go slip right in after a little bit. here we just finished tightening up those brackets because now we have a grill and we figured out where we want to place them and make sure the holes line up on each side so you are not misplacing that grill at all as you can see here I'm just applying a little bit extra force just to make sure that those bolts are inside those holes perfectly and I'm able to tighten up that last bracket Here we're going to be putting the nuts on the bolts in the back of the grill. We're going to be hand tightening them down, each one of them, so that we make sure everything is in the right spot. And it's going to be a little bit wobbly, but once we put the bracket screws in, it should be fine. Now we got everything in place. We have everything in place up here. Let's see. All. There you go. Everything's in place there. All of them are up there. We haven't screwed these down yet. That's why we leave ever we leave everything loose until we're all set and all finished. It looks like the audio had cut out here. So basically, all I was saying was that. We're tightening down the rest of these bolts, and then we're going to do the wiring tomorrow just because it is raining outside. All right, and lastly, we're gonna close it. Let's see what happens. Make sure all the tools are out. Looks pretty solid. All right. All right, and there you go. It is all slammed down, all nice and neat. And I am loving that new look. I'm gonna take you guys off the stand real quick and we'll give a closer look at everything. 
All right. Look at that. Look how nice and clean that all looks. It actually fits perfectly up here. Get a little bit farther away. Let's see how it looks. Oh, looks a whole lot better with that black. Looks a lot better. Yeah. All right. So next, all we really have to do, I I hid the uh, wires right up here into this little pocket here. I'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's raining right now. But yeah, I'm just loving that look. Those lights are gonna look super nice. So the next step for our wiring is we're gonna take these wires up here. I'm actually just wrapping them right now. I took them and I brought them all the way through, zip tied them all the way down, all the way down to here. And now I just got to bring this wire. You got our red, the black, and the blue wire. We're gonna actually bring it all the way back down and we're gonna attach them right into these pockets over here. I'll get to, uh, I'll get to that part when we get there, but for now I'm just going to keep wrapping this. So basically, I like you don't have to wrap it, I just like the look of the black being better. I don't like all the different color wires showing. So we're gonna go fix that. All right, and then I'll get back to this part, the wiring at the end when we're all set. All right. All right, so we finished doing the wrapping. We left some parts where the zip ties go. All the way down. We're starting over here now. We have to take these zip ties and we have to bring it all the way over here into the last little spot. So let's start on that and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so we have the wire all attached all the way down, zip tied over to here. We actually had to splice them and <laughs> extend them just because of the way I took the root, it was not enough wire. So now we have enough wire. I have all this extra stuff down here. We did change up the colors. A little bit but we have them marked over here so I know which ones to go to and so now we're gonna go and start over our wiring we're gonna bring this stuff down into there I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna go grab our little piggybacks and I'll be right back All right, so now we have our little piggyback things here we're gonna grab each one and so my wires are gonna be switched so I'll just tell them as they are so your black wire you're gonna want to attach to your headlights black wire as well as you can see mine is right here so you want to attach to that one the red wire you want to attach to the red wire and so we finally in finished installing these piggybacks right here so we had our red go to our red just remember i changed the colors just because i had i didn't have the same wires we have our blue going to our blue and then we have our black going to our black. So as you can see here, we're going to attach the blue to our ACC wires. We're going to attach the black to the black headlight wire and the red to the red headlight wire to get those lights to work correctly.
All right, so now we are going to go and test the lights. So first we're going to start by turning on the accessory lights. So there we go, we turn those on. Now these lights should turn up to be blue over here. And as you can tell right now, they are blue. Let's get a close-up look at those. All right, and now we switch to our regular lights. And we come back around. So you can tell there. And they're shining nice and white. And we'll get a couple angles of these. These blue lights are a lot brighter at night, and you can't really see them during the daytime. But here are some pictures of the grill as it is. So this is from AM Offroad, and if you'd like to go check them out, you can go look in the link in the bio. It was super easy to install, and I haven't seen this look before in many other trucks. They also have many different styles for other vehicles, ranging from Jeeps, to Fords, to Dodge, to Rams, to Chevys. So if you would like to go check them out, I suggest you go do that.